Okay, so now we're getting into the very important topics of which metrics you need to monitor. And because there's so many Kafka metrics, you don't really know where to start first. So here is my answer. You need to start, and the whole internet is agreeing with this, by a few metrics that are extremely important to have. Number one is number of active controllers. And that should always be one. So in Kafka, one of the broker is an active controller and all the ones are not controllers. So the controller basically allows to do a lot of stuff, including, you know, leader election, assignments of uh, consumer groups, et cetera, et cetera. And so you only need one to manage everything. Otherwise, you have huge issues. So zero means that uh, your Kafka cluster is not working. And two, that means that there's a huge bug. So that number should always be one. And it's something super important to have in your dashboard. Number two is the number of under replicated partitions, or it's called URP. And that should always be zero. So you basically don't want uh, your partitions to be lagging uh, behind the rest of your cluster. So if, for example, there is a producer that's producing at a very, very high rate and the replication that is not fast enough, then you're going to start seeing under replicated partitions. And that may mean that your brokers are being overloaded or misconfigured or that your network is struggling. Anyway, that may mean something. So number of under replicated partitions or URPs should always be zero. And then you have number of offline partitions. So this is really bad. If an offline, if a partition is offline, that means that all the, the partitions are down. And that's not good because that means that your topic is partially down. And so that number should always be zero as well. Okay, something very, very important to monitor. On top of monitoring these metrics, it's really good to set alerts on them, because you get to know better. Um, when these happen, you get you get an email and can fix the problem right away. Now there's tons of metrics that say you can find online. And there's going to be the Kafka documentation that we'll see in a second. And also the Confluent documentation on Kafka, which provides good advice. Finally, word of advice, it's always better to have more metrics monitor than less, because you want to be easily able to troubleshoot issues when they happen. Okay, so very, very important. So let's go ahead and see the documentation now. So as we can see here, um, in our Grafana dashboard, we don't have any of these three metrics we just mentioned from the slide, and we'll have this in the next lecture during the hands on, we'll see how we can create um, these metrics in this dashboard. So you can get started with Grafana and have the dashboard just like as you want. But for now, let's go to the Kafka documentation. And then in the Kafka documentation, we're going to find the section, it's called 6.6. And it's called monitoring uh, at the time of recording. So we can scroll down, wait for it to load and 6.6. .6 right here monitoring. And so it explains how Kafka works. And so Kafka uses Yammer metrics to expose their metrics and they're exposed by JMX. We know this already. And so here is the list of all the metrics that are given by Kafka. So as you can see, there's a ton of them. Uh, you can really look at them and it's a very uh, exhaustive documentation. So these are metrics that you definitely want to monitor. So just have a look at like, do you want to see error rates? Do you want to see request rates? Do you want to see uh, bytes out, bytes in? How fast the log is flushed on the replicated partitions, we just talk about them, uh, min ISR. Uh, and so there is a recommendation, normal value thing to look out for. So as we said, um, under replicated partition should be one, zero. Uh, min ISR, zero. Offline log directories, zero. Controller active, only one, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So these are really, really good values to monitor. And so for example, let's take, um, let's take um, for example, uh, IS, um, ISR, right? Under replicated partition. So if you look at this metric, it's called under replicated partitions. So if you go to Prometheus and type under replicated partitions, as you can see now, we have Kafka cluster partition under replicated or Kafka server replica manager under replicated partitions. So one of these metrics is going to help and you can always um, you can always execute a query, not add a graph to see uh, how this works and see the value of it. So this is by the partition to tell you how many, uh, which partition is under replicated. And then the other one under replicated partitions executes. We only get by server how many under replicated partitions there are. So it's two different kind of metrics. One is at the server level and one is at the partition level. But that's really, really helpful. So that's the idea here. And it's going to need to get this whole list, but you can also type in Kafka monitoring Confluent documentation. And so when you do this, you get this page that we saw before in the slide, uh, docs.confluent.io. 
And so this page gives you more advice on how you should monitor Kafka. And so this is a better organized page, in my opinion. There are server metrics, broker and zookeeper, producer metrics, consumer metrics, and old consumer metrics. So if we scroll down and go to broker metrics, basically it advertises the Confirm Control Center, which you can get, but it's paid license. Uh, but otherwise, it tells you which uh, metrics you need to get. And so again, the under-replicated partition, uh, definitely something you want to have. Offline partition counts, active controller, bytes in per second, bytes out per second, number of requests per second, number of total reproduced requests, etc., etc. You can scroll down, but it gives you a lot of good insight into what each metric does and so on. And then you get Zookeeper metrics if you wanted to explore this and so on. I'll let you uh, explore this with the whole documentation, okay? But this is quite nice um, to have these two documentations. And so in the next lecture, we'll go ahead and um, play a bit with Grafana just so I can show you how to add these metrics to Grafana. And then you're on your own to add as many metrics as you want. All right? All right. I'll see you in the next lecture.